in next few videos we will be looking at certain properties associated with supremum so first of all let me give you a property that says if if for a set s we denote a plus s a plus s so what are we doing we are adding we are adding the length a we are adding the length a to each and every each and every uh, element of the set s so that set will be a plus s such that s belongs to this is belongs to the set s then we say that the supremum of this set supremum of this set will be nothing else but it will essentially be supremum of s plus a length a added to it so a plus s is what a plus s is nothing else but uh, you know it's a translation of the set s to the right with a length of a added to it okay so what are you doing you're just adding length a to each and every element of the set s okay so let's just try to prove it. it's an if and then statement okay if it's an if and then statement let's try to prove it so proof of it what do we have to prove so we start off by saying that we are given given that we have a plus s uh, is equal to a plus element s s belongs to the set s okay and we need to prove we need to prove that soup a plus s is equal to a plus soup s or we can say that you know uh, a plus soup s represents the supremum of a the set a plus s so what we need to prove need to prove two things number one what are the two things that we need to prove we need to prove that a plus soup s will be greater than or equal to a plus s for all a plus s belonging to the set a plus s right this is an element s that is this is the upper bound now we need to prove that it is also the least upper bound so we need to prove that a plus soup s soup s or a plus soup s sorry a plus soup s will be less than or equal to any other upper bound for any other upper bound u okay so these are the two things you always need to prove when you are trying to prove that uh, some element is a supremum so let us try to prove the first one so let me just change the color now let us try to prove the first one now the first one says that soup s soup s is greater than or equal to s right soup s is greater than or equal to s okay so what do we have we have a set s right so what do we know about the supremum of s about the supremum of s what we can say is that surely soup s will be greater than or equal to every element s right for all s belonging to the set s okay so what does that imply that implies if i add a length a to both the side the inequality sign will still hold the inequality sign will still hold so what do i have i have that a plus soup of the set s okay will always be greater than or equal to a plus s for any for any a plus s element belonging to the set a plus s okay belonging to the set a plus s 
So that's the first condition. We have already proved it. We have already proved that this thing on your LHS, this thing on your LHS is an upper bound, an upper bound. Okay. Now the task is to prove that it's the least upper bound. So for that, uh, what, uh, what do we have to prove? We have to prove the second part that a plus soup s is less than or equal to for any upper bound u, any other upper bound u. So let's just figure out, let's just assume an upper bound of this set. So let u be an upper bound upper bound of the set into consideration which is a plus s okay that's the set into con consideration so in case u is an upper bound then what is happening u should be greater than or equal to a plus s for all a plus s belonging to the set a plus s right now, what does that imply? That implies that u minus a will be greater than or equal to s for any s belonging to s. What have I done? I've just taken u here, right? So, that would imply this. And this will imply in turn, this will imply in turn that u minus a should be an upper bound of s okay so u minus a that means is an upper bound upper bound of the set s okay because it's happening for every element of s that is why so that would imply that u minus a should also be greater than or equal to soup s. Why am I saying so? Because supremum of s will be supremum of s will be the least upper bound. So it will be the least upper bound. So that is why u minus a which is an upper bound of s should be greater than or equal to supremum of s and that will imply. Now let me just take this. This is just a length a. This is just a number, a positive number. Okay, we are adding. So that would mean that u is greater than or equal to a plus sup s. And that's what we wanted to prove to say that a plus soup s actually is the supremum of a plus s. So that implies that a plus soup s represents represents the supremum of the set a plus s.